Now at 4.30, Colorado Springs police are looking for another puppy bandit this afternoon. It's the fourth time this year a person has run off with a puppy from the Pet City store at the Citadel Mall. KRDO News Channel 13's Andrea Herrera reports. Take a look at this. Surveillance video from Thursday night shows the latest puppy bandit in action at Pet City in Colorado Springs. Our employees try to give our customers time to meet the puppies, get to know them, make sure that it's a good fit for their family. You can see this man after asking the store employee to spend some time with the Boston Terrier he was interested in adopting. Everything seemed normal and I was going to give him some time by himself. But you can see the bandit was being sneaky, trying to hide the little terrier puppy under his sweatshirt. And I walked away for just not very long at all. And then when I came back, the door was open and he was gone. Employees here tell me the suspect was in this playroom. He was fumbling with the puppy, opened this door, and then left by the main entrance. Brie Maestas is the owner of Pet City. She says this is the fourth time this has happened in the last 12 months. Only two of the four stolen Pet City puppies have been found and the suspects arrested. And we have two convictions. Um, we are pressing charges. Um, it is a felony crime. Um, and and we're, we're taking it serious. Colorado Springs police are investigating, but they say it can be difficult to track down these stolen puppies. The difficulty with microchip, and everybody thinks a microchip is a save all. All that, all that's going to do is if the dog is located, we can use a microchip reader to identify the the owner of the pet for now the owner of the store tells me they will be increasing their security but they are asking the public if you see something say something reporting in pet city andrea herrera krdo news channel 13.